Hello YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Demonica and I am out here in my backyard. It's the first day of spring and you know what that means. My Venus flytraps are starting to come out of dormancy so I thought why not give you guys a little tour of my collection. So if you're interested in seeing it, stick around until the end of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this side of my collection. So here I have Cup Trap, Fang, B-52, Alien. I ended up getting this one from Jeremiah Harris, so I'm excited to see it grow. Here I have Bristle Tooth, Gargoyle. This is Dana's Delight. The flower is about to open, so I'm excited for that. That would be my first flower. This is part of the bare root saracenias that I got uh, from California carnivores. So I don't know what it is. We shall find out. Back here we have SD Chronos, Fake Dracula, Jaws, FTS, Maroon Monster. Uh, this is Dutch Delight. Towering Giant has giant traps. Uh, DCXL. King Henry. This is my DCXL. So I ended up repotting this and placed the largest ones in here and then the extras. I ended up making a new uh, pot for them. So now I have more DCXLs. Same thing with um, Maroon Monster. Here are the other ones. I have Shoop and Steel. SD Draco. 007, Red Piranha. This one had a hard time growing last year, so I'm hoping that this year it grows a bit better and I get a larger trap. These are all from last year and they're tiny. This is the FTS Towering Giant, which is the same as this. It was the X's, so I ended up putting the extra ones over here. Bohemian Garnet, uh, Pink, Red Dragon which is also Akai Ryu. Here I have some of my bladderwort. This is my DCXL. Now here we have the Drosseras. So I have these two that are Albus. I did make a video because I want to experiment to see which one grows better. I have one in 50-50 peat moss and perlite. And then I have one in full sphagnum moss. Uh, this is red. These are just babies that ended up growing in my plants. When I repotted them, I put them all together. Uh, this is a typical. I need to repot that. These are uh, Drosera spatulatas, which came from this plant. I'm actually going to give these to a friend. Uh, we have Triton, Unspotty. I ended up purchasing these from Maggie's Shop of Horror. This is the open pollinated spider, a big tomato, blood, red, red microdent, and then is, this is Bane School. Okay, on this side we have Dracula, we have my typicals, purple ambush, lips and lashes, Kai Ryu, this is a Lueco hybrid that we ended up getting at a Skippy raffle, this is Mirror, Ron, Gagliardo. This is my typical Venus flytrap, so I still need to repot this. Um, and then on this side, I have more of my Drosseras. This is a uh, narrow leaf, and this is the orange sherbet from California carnivores. And these are actually from flower buds that I clipped off last year. Uh, they were just typical, so I wanted to see how they would grow, and they actually did pretty good. I actually ended up getting a few, so this year, since I want to focus more on getting large traps rather than seeds, I'm going to be doing the same thing. 
but just putting them back in their own individual pots so I know which fly trap it is just to make sure I don't mix them these are all typicals uh, I still need to repot this and yeah this is this side of my collection So now we're going to be starting on this side. Um, here I have my Drosera white leaf. It has a lot of the Drosera spatulata in here. And I might be removing some of these because I don't want them to be too crowded. Up here we have the Saracenia. So these were also part of the bear root from California carnivores. I ended up buying, I believe it was five, but I ended up getting quite a few. So I put it all together here. Not sure if that was a good choice or not, but they look pretty good as of now. So. And then in the middle, I have my little Venus white trap. I ended up buying those from Michaels last year. So you'll see them around my plants. This is something that I nearly acquired. So this is a Black Widow Saracenia. When I saw there was a Black Widow Saracenia online, I just had to have it. And last time when we had a Skippy, the two year anniversary meeting, usually there is a plant sale. So this is where I purchased this. And it's beautiful. I can't wait to see the black traps on it. Well, they're not black. They're just really deep red. But you could see the New York traps coming up. And then you have another one of my little miniature creatures from Michaels. These are typicals. So once a year, I do plan on giving away Venus fly trap so if you're interested and you live locally here in Los Angeles I will be posting once a year and giving some of these away here I have my Dracula cross with B52 initially I was gonna go ahead and put my Dracula Venus fly trap in here but that one is smaller than this one and this one actually clumped up so when I was repotting I ended up making I believe it's almost 18 little plants so this will probably fill up the, cap the little coffin better This is another Venus flytrap that I purchased at the Skippy to your anniversary meeting and sale. This is Black Pearl from Santa Barbara Traps. I believe that's who it is. This is Dingley Giant. And again, I don't know. Last year I ended up getting a Falls Baby Perry. This year I ended up getting it again. It's pretty interesting. Last year it just dried, so this time I'm gonna wait a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and repot all the little offshoots. And I should have a lot more plants. Okay, so let's start with this here. I have Great White Shark. Treads Dracula. This is arching flat skinny leaves. This trap is very unique. It has long curly petioles. So I'm excited to see it 
fully out of dormancy and see how it looks. This is Southwest Giant. They're all starting to come out of dormancy. Uh, this is Vigorous down here. Vigorous. Big Vigorous. Dentate Traps. Low Giant. This is Low Giant. This is Crimson Sawtooth. This is Petite Dragon. Crossed with Jaws. This is Shogun Star. Petite Dragon. I just wanted to have the mother plant of this one. So now I do have Jaws and Petite Dragons. This is Grun. Now here we have Fussy Teeth. Wally. Martha's Lips. Werewolf. Fuse Tooth. Pollen Red. Clayton's. Clayton's Red Sunset. This is Spider. It's a pretty large fly trap. It's actually been this large since I received it from Jeremiah. Uh, this is Long Red Fingers. This is B52 with Big Mouth. Red Jaws. This is Big Mouth. Gremlin. I had to have this one. I love the Gremlins. This is Fondue. Royal Red. Bimbo. Mega Traps. And then on this side, all of these are California carnivores. So let's start with this one. I have Giant Clam. This is a Philiformis Floriana Red, I believe. This is Pac-Man. Hair comb. I have two of the hair comb varieties. This is Sunrise. Harmony. Alien. Dragon's Breath. Hair comb. So I ended up getting two. This one actually came for free in one of my latest orders. This is Phalanx. Scarletine. This is Tiger Teeth with Sawtooth. Long Red Fingers. This is California Carnivores. And this is another seller. Huge difference in size. Korean Melody Shark. This is Cross Teeth. I don't know. I ended up putting cross tooth on the labeling to redo it and this is sawtooth and in there you also have the utricularia subulata I believe that's how you say it and the last one is flaming lips So I do plan on making monthly maybe update videos just to keep track of how the fly traps grow. They're still coming out of dormancy. A lot of them are producing the tall, taller traps and a lot of them have flowers growing but I'm going to be snipping those off and then I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated on what happens with that. Um, the California carnivores, I believe I'm going to go ahead and repot them into my skull planters. I just have not had an opportunity to do it. A lot of these are from last year. They're, they have holes, but I just need to reuse them. So I will most likely be putting these into these containers because they'll get a little bit more room.
if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give this video a like i do plan on making these videos um once a month just to keep track of the girl progress so stay tuned